Hi all the students. Today's video is a continuation of our previous video wherein we studied geostationary earth orbit satellites. So today we are going to study the remaining two types of satellites that is the medium earth orbit satellites and the low earth orbit satellites. So we will start with the medium earth orbit satellites. Now at much lower altitude, altitude, when I say much lower, that means at an altitude lower than the geostationary earth satellites. Now clearly you can see here that the satellites that I have here, if I look at this diagram, if we again have a quick look at this diagram, so you can clearly see that the GEO or the geostationary earth satellites are at an altitude of between 30,000 to 35,000 kilometers, right? So when I say much below, that means below the GEO satellites. So you can see it is much below the GEO satellites where the GEO satellites are, are at an uh, altitude range of 30,000 to 35,000 kilometers. The medium earth orbit satellites are at a range of 5,000 to 15,000 kilometers of altitude, right? So they are much lower than the GEO satellites. So that's why I say at much lower altitude. That means at much lower altitude than the GEO satellites. Between the two Van Allen belts. Now we have already discussed what Van Allen belts are. So you can clearly see that the medium earth orbit satellite is placed somewhere between the two Van Allen belts. That is the upper Van Allen belt and the lower Van Allen belt. Between these two belts is the medium earth orbit satellite. Now they take around approximately 6 hours to orbit around the earth. That means I can say that the orbital period of a medium earth orbit satellite is approximately 6 hours. Now since they are lower than the geostationary earth satellites, earth orbit satellites, so they are comparatively closer to earth. If I do a comparison, if again I look at this diagram and if I do a comparison, I can clearly see that the medium earth orbit satellites are much closer to earth as compared to the geostationary earth satellites. So for the same reason, less powerful transmitters are required to reach them. Now there are transmitters at the ground station would, which would be transmitting signals to the satellites. We know that. So when the satellite is closer to the earth, so in that case the ground stations would need less powerful transmitters to transmit data because the satellite is closer to the earth as compared to the geostationary earth orbit satellites, right? So for the simple reason that because they are closer to earth, so the ground stations need less powerful transmitters to transmit or to reach to the uh, medium earth orbit satellites. Now the examples are your global positioning satellites that these are the examples of your medium earth orbit satellites. Okay, now moving on. The last category of the satellite is your low earth orbit satellites which are also known as LEO. Now again moving down in altitude because the low earth orbit satellites are even lower than the medium earth orbit satellites. You can see that if I look at the altitude the medium earth orbit satellite are at a, an altitude range of 5000 to 15000 kilometers and when i look at the low earth orbit satellites they are somewhere above 0 kilometers only right so they are much lower as compared to the medium earth orbit satellites hence i say that moving down in altitude because when i move down in altitude below the medium earth orbit satellites and even below the Van, lower Van Allen belt, see, below the medium earth orbit satellite and even below the lower Van Allen belt is your, is your low earth orbit satellite also known as your LEO, right? 
you have your medium earth orbit satellite at a range of 5000 to 15000 kilometers of altitude then below that is the lower van allen belt so below the meo and even below the lower van allen belt is your low earth orbit satellites so that is why i say that moving down in altitude we have the leo satellites obviously which are known as the low earth orbit satellites now because they pass quickly out of sight why do they pass quickly out of sight because they have a low orbital period and if they have a low orbital period it is quite obvious that they will complete their orbit quickly and pass out of sight so because of this many of them are needed for continuous coverage now this we discussed um, in the introduction to communication satellite itself that when a satellite is closer to earth the orbital period is less so when the orbital period is less that means it will complete its orbit quickly and it will quickly pass out of sight right but the coverage area remains bigger so for that reason since one satellite quickly passes out of sight and it is not able to provide complete coverage of the required area hence many of them are required so that they can keep keep providing continuous coverage so that is why many of them are needed for continuous coverage now since they are closest to earth ground stations do not need much power again the same just like in the uh, medium earth orbit satellites which are closer which were in close proximity to the earth you needed less powerful transmitters similarly here in the case of low earth orbit satellites also now they are the closest to earth even closer than the medium earth orbit satellites so hence for this reason the ground stations which would be transmitting signals to the satellites in case of the low earth orbit satellites they would not need much powerful transmitters and the round trip delay is only few milliseconds so what is round trip delay the time taken to transmit the signal from the ground station at one location in the earth and then the time taken for the uh, satellite to rebroad that uh, rebroadcast that signal to some other ground station this is known as your round trip delay that means the time taken from the ground uh, from the transmitter of one ground station located at one point in the earth to transmit those signals to the satellite and then the time taken by the satellite to rebroadcast that received signal to some other ground station at some other location on the earth this is the round trip delay so obviously the round trip delay uh, delay here is only few milliseconds because it is quite obvious that these uh, Uh, low earth orbit satellites are closer to the earth so if they are closer to the earth so the distance traveled is lesser so if the distance traveled is lesser so it is quite obvious that the round trip delay is less that is the time taken to transmit to the satellite to transmit the signal from one ground station to the satellite and then the time taken to rebroadcast that signal from the satellites to some other ground station would obviously be only few milliseconds since the low earth orbit satellites are closer to the earth so this is all about the medium earth orbit satellites and the low earth orbit satellites